Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. When we last left off, we were making our way down the Keeper's Trail, catching ourselves some cool monsters and generally making our way to this old cool man here who's going to teach us how to become the greatest of all time, probably, maybe. Oh, if it isn't an old friend of mine. Hey, Baron, a long time no see. I brought you a new student. He just hatched his first monsters. Thought you might teach him some lessons. So you're the new Spectral Keeper, huh? Folk call me Old Baron. I made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail so I can teach all of you Greenhorns about your new duties as fully-fledged Monster Keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you are worthy of the title. Okay, oh god. Level 6, level 6, level 6. Gilly. Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say that the outcome of battle is decided before it begins. Since I raised these blobs myself, they're stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, their level is much higher. You can also see the weaknesses or resistances of your enemies. My blobs are weak to wind attacks. Okay, so... Weak to wind, so of course our Beagle the Eagle will help us out here. And let's see, so Bob the Blob, he's strong to fire, weak to water. He And all these blobs have water-based attacks. Or wait, wait, wait. Also, I'm reading that wrong. It's, they're weak, or wind attacks are strong against them, water attacks are weak against them. Okay, so actually that means Bob is ideally suited, so Bigafoot, our, our Bigfoot, will have to wait. He'll get his chance to fight next time. Alright, let's see here. Let's uh, inflict a little bit of tasty poison. Also, I can't help but notice there is that robot thing there at the, at the back. What is he doing sitting there? Look at the top right corner of the screen. That is the combo counter. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or healed or buffed your allies. This will increase the damage of the following attacks. The combo counter resets after every turn. So it makes sense to always try to act with your weaker defensive or assisting monsters first and use high hit count actions. This will maximize the damage of your offensive monsters that act later. Oh! Nope, I never really tried to swap out our characters here. But yeah. I mean, I kind of managed to gain, uh, to gain that general idea, but yes, alright, so we get even more combo, and then we use, like, our Featherfall attack to completely butcher him. Ideally. So I guess that means if I'm gonna buff, I should do that at the beginning of combat rather than, oh dear. Yeah, so use buffs and stuff first, then go for the attacks. Gotcha. Alright. Actually, like, so with that in mind, that means like if I wanted Beagle here to buff everyone, then I should probably use that first. Alright, I think I... I think I can figure this out. Actually, I am kind of wondering if I should heal. I think I can survive this, uh... This turn. We're probably fine. Seems like kind of a waste. Ah, but then again, overkill gets you a higher rank, so... That's also kind of in our... In our best interest. Oh yeah, they're all... Oh god, there was a critical there at the end. Oh no! Oh... Okay. Alright. So, heal up. Poor Bob the Blob getting picked on by, by the other bigger blobs. Alright, but I mean, as long as he can survive this, uh... There you go. The fools aren't focusing their fire. Okay, maybe it's because they... They knew something I didn't there. Alright, get those uh, sweet heals going. Actually... Actually, the punch combo does slightly, slightly more against these guys, so I suppose I should use it. Nice. 
and get some more delicious, sexy overkill. Mmm, that's some good overkill. Alright. Alright, I mean, he, he's, uh, he's bolting us as best he can. And since this is our last turn, let's, uh, or wait, no, no it's not. What am I thinking? This isn't actually going to be the end. We're going to have one more, unless we get a bunch of critical hits. Pretty nice. Alright, he's going to go heal himself up, but... Let's see, four or four. All right, let's finish this guy off. Give him the old one-two punches. And then Beagle will come in and get massive overkill. Kind of hoping a bit more massive overkill, but all right. Good enough. Aw, only, really, only one? I thought I did much better than that, but apparently not. Oh well. Oh good, even the guys who aren't directly fighting get a little bit of experience. Not bad, not bad at all. You have walked the Keeper's trail and you defeated my monsters. However, to become a Monster Keeper proper, you will need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, this next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. If your monsters have any free skill points, use them now and use them wisely. Oh, Killy Doakley? Uh, wait. Oh yeah, you do have a skill point. What am I thinking? Uh, let's see, what do I want to upgrade? I mean, we can't upgrade this yet, because we're not at the right level. Sorcery. Bit more defense, not bad. Bit more magic. More healing, that would also be good. Combo healing. An additional heal for 30% magic value. That's not bad. Hmm. Ooh, up to five. But, oh wait, no, we already have that. Never mind. You know what, let's increase our healing. Or... Or no. No, let's, uh... Let's increase our magic. Actually, wait, wait, wait. This is magic? Yeah, it is magical damage. So more magic. All right, there we go. Now we we can hit a little bit harder. And as for us, I mean, that's that's not bad. It also removes debuffs. But perhaps more mana, a bit more attack. Let's increase our critical chance, I think. That kind of feels right to me, personally. And if we're gonna upgrade skills... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna buff our Feverstorm, because that's kind of like our strongest attack to begin with. Am I, am I really ready, though, for, uh... Or whatever he may have. I kind of want to go explore the map first a little bit. Just a, just a touch. Because, I mean, there were some other places that we didn't go see yet. And maybe, maybe we can get a few extra levels on, on our guys. Good job, masterfully done. You are the best gaslight at exploring the wild world beyond our walls and something, something, something. All right, never cool bridge. Yeah, let's fight. Plus, I mean, we can unlock some other guys, maybe. Poor Bigfoot. I'm kind of, kind of leaving him out to dry here. All right, let's uh, take out. Let's take out the bird first, just because he is the most obvious target for elimination. Beautiful. And, let's see here. I mean, he resists wind, so yeah, fire is... Fire is our solution this time around. Nicely done. Okay, bit of buffing. Not bad, not bad. A little bit of poison, perhaps. 
Excellent. Let's see here, actually. What is better? 4 by 60, yeah. Get more overkill so that we can really, really try to get 5 stars. Because that's obviously the most important thing of all time, isn't it? Alright, he healed himself a little bit. Just a tad. Alright. That's about the same, honestly. I kind of hope I don't kill him. Good, good. Now we can get, like, super overkill. Nice. Come on, five stars. Damnation. Ah, boy. Well, we tried, and we failed miserably. The important thing is, though, you know... Alright, we got a tomb. Plus 20 mana, plus 20 mana regeneration, not bad. And two potions. Alright, so uh, what does this tomb do for us exactly? I mean, not bad. I mean, I'll give it to Bigfoot here because, you know, he's not doing anything else and I don't feel we've hit anything challenging enough that we really need to worry about, uh, like, really strategizing yet. Or it also occurs to me, I'm willing to bet that we're gonna... Really? You can't break it down? You disappoint me, Bigfoot. I thought you were better than that. Ooh, nice money. Truly the greatest gift of all. Oh, a Cat Zerker. I really want to get a Cat Zerker. I don't know why. Let's see here. Well, actually, you know what? If, uh... Yeah, we can swap out Bigfoot, because he's got the water attacks. Yeah. Which is extra good against the Magma Pillar. So... I mean, I guess that wasn't... It wasn't the most impressive of all time, but, you know. It did what it needed to do. Sort of, kind of. Alright, let's uh, finish him off with maximum overkill. Though I kind of wonder just how important overkill is. You know? Like, is it really that important to upping our ranking, or is it... Uh... Oh, okay, you're actually resistant to, the, to win, so let's go with... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's go with Might. Yeah, buff the party to get us started. Weak to Earth, at least we've got an Earth attack here. Kind of worked out. And yeah, we'll give him such a beating. Alright. Not our strongest showing. I... Oh dear. Oh, we can't, we can't lose Bigfoot. I mean, we, I guess, if we had to, you know, we would sacrifice him, but, uh, that's not what we're all about here. Or, you know, at least that's what I, I would tell myself. I don't want one of these cat zerkers. I mean, a cat with a broadsword or a claymore or whatever it is exactly. I mean, it's literally a puss in boots. Look at that. It's got boots and everything on. And a badass sword. How can you say no to that? Simple answer is you can't. Man, Beagle is such a boss. Alright, how do we do? Ah, shucks. Oh! We got a Magma Pillar Egg, though. Alright. So we have a new friend. Well, I kind of wonder, what happens if we have only six slots? What happens when we have filled them all? Okay, what do we call Magma Pillar? Um, I don't have a really cool name for him. Um, hmm. You know what? I don't know why, I just, I feel like he's a Desmond. No reason, just, just a Desmond. He's got a Desmond face, you know? Yeah. He's a Desmond. Anyway, 
let's uh, let's see. Guess we'll buff up uh, his fire attack because it does do a pretty significant amount of damage, all things considered. Uh, let's see here. Shield all. All right, that actually sounds pretty useful. I mean, he can be our defensive player when we want to defend ourselves. Shield all for one. Okay, and as our next thing, we will. Ooh, burning desire. All right, yeah. He, yeah, we'll build up Desmond to be like a real uh, defensive player here. Also, I just noticed that Bigafoot's got free skill points that I haven't really been doing anything with. Uh, let's see, we can taunt. We can get more of a beating. Health proc. Every attack triggers an additional hit with base damage. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure if I understand exactly what that means, but I wanna... I wanna give it a try. Alright. Yeah. Let's get some, like, special effects in here. Really, uh, stick it to the enemy. Ooh, a wizard hat. Also cool. Alright. I mean... You know what, I bet that giant robot thing is what we need in order to unlock the abilities that'll let us progress uh, through these rock walls. So, with that in mind, I guess would be in our best interest also. There we go. My secrets, what do we got? A helmet. Not bad, not bad. Though I'm gonna maybe refrain from actually equipping these things for now. We'll we'll kind of fiddle around with uh, properly kidding ourselves out by the by. Also, if we take a quick look at the map. Yeah, there's still plenty of places for us to explore. But before we do, let, let's go uh, fight this final test. Mostly just because I do want to... I do want to try unlocking whatever it is that the Monster Master has for us to unlock. Since, uh, you know, we want those sweet rewards. Have you prepared for the real test? Yes, yes I have. Sort of, kinda, maybe. Good! You show bravery, but this time you are not facing a normal monster. We're facing... Kettle Black! That's probably not his real name. That's totally what I'm gonna call him, though. For no particular reason. Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. I like this music. They have more health, do more damage, and can act multiple times a turn. Oh dear. It is your job as a monster keeper to take care of them. So it's only fitting that you beat one to become a member of the Order of Monster Keepers. Show me what you're made of. Alright, so let's see here. He's strong against fire. And he's weak to wind. Okay. So, Desmond is probably not our best play here. And he also... Alright, he also uses leaf-type attacks, and none of our guys... I mean, then again, Desmond's got a shield, so maybe... Hmm... I'm gonna give this a try. Have, uh... Yeah, have Desmond, uh, maybe try to shield us. See what, uh... What, if anything, that does for us. I I'm kind of suspecting it's not gonna be that terribly useful. But, you know, you gotta try. Nice. Stone or oh dear. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking I probably I probably should have kept Bob. Bob the blob. Also I, I I was just mashing buttons there, I missed what I did, but I apparently do have the ability to uh, use like the lower level version of an attack we we have. That's kinda cool. Hmm. Yeah, I think the combo is probably, probably more useful here. Though I'm also thinking to myself, what might actually be, um, oh dear. 
Oh god, not poor Desmond. Okay. Oh yeah, let's buff the team. That also is probably something I should have done in the first place. But I'm thinking, what if I use uh, Beagle's attack? Well, no. Because I, I was kind of thinking for a second, maybe use uh, just to make this attack stronger. But then again, raising our combo so that we do more damage with our strongest attack probably makes the most sense. Probably. Though now I wish I had more monsters with wind-based attack. Oh god. Oh no, Desmond! Well, we, we definitely haven't, uh... Oh dear. Oh, poor Desmond. I feel like I did a lot less damage this turn. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Let's see here. Oh, oh good. All right. Well, I mean, he he's resistant to this, but then again, would... I wonder. Would I... Uh, could I burn him? Because, you know, yeah, burning him will provide constant damage for us. Alright, he's just, he's just punching us now. Alright, yeah, yeah, we've got, we've got this. Totally got this. May have not been the most useful. Alright, come on Beagle, let's do this. So I think, yeah, I'll, I'll keep burning him, because at least it gets our combo meter up higher. Oh, and he's actually taking a pretty, uh, substantial amount of damage from burning. From what I am seeing here. Kinda wish I had a level 2 ignite, though. That would probably do even more damage for us. Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do, man. Alright, let's finish this guy. I mean, he, he's almost there. Almost. Yeah, look at that. Burning. And... Alright. I mean, this shield is helping us. Yeah. Don't know why I keep thinking Leaf Slash might be useful. Alright, let's do this. Though, so, um, yeah, we totally, totally are not getting five stars on that. Well, at least we got two stars. But yeah, if I recall, you gotta get five stars in order to get the, um, like the egg of the champions. Congratulations, young one! You have defeated your first champion, and therefore, you are now a Keeper Aspirant. Nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, won't you? Because there are things going on in the Sanctuary that trouble me. You see, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means, and champions usually don't accept other monsters beside them, or a keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this golem myself to make it stronger. But even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, keeper rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the sanctuary. I regularly receive letters by Veromail from rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the sanctuary fighting against champions. If it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself. But at least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I trapped a champion in the caves in this area. You can take care of it if you feel up to the task. Ooh, the Mountain Path Key. But before you go, there is one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. This lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Oh cool, apples. And potatoes. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you intend to face more champion monsters. But a monster always only profits from the last free food items you gave to it. Now, good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well then, you're a keeper aspirant now. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. And who knows, maybe you will be, or you will be the one to reach the title of Keeper Master. 
There's always only one in a couple of lifetimes. We can take care of that other champion right now, or we can go back to the Keeper's Stronghold first. The choice is yours. Anyway, I think we can uh, go explore the next area, so I'm gonna cut ahead to uh, when we get back to the uh, Mountain Key type area, and I will see you shortly like. Well, all right, so we have unlocked a new area here with our flamey guy, and maybe these, uh, these free puss in boots here will actually provide us with a little something something. You know, mostly uh, what we're looking for, of course, is the delicious, delicious eggs. Because, you know, we, we want our eggs, man. Well, that was pretty dramatic, but alas, we weren't able to finish him off. I mean, we're still at a point where it takes us a whole turn just to... Hmm. Well, I guess the poison's only really useful if we don't... If we don't manage to take him out this turn. All right. Actually, I almost wondered to myself, maybe I should have used a wind attack. Because maybe that would have pushed us just far enough to finish Puss here, but probably not. But, you know, I've been wrong before, so you never know. You never know, says I. Alright, let's see here. This won't finish him, but it will ratchet up our combo. So, we can get maximum overkill damage. Which is exactly what we want. For, yes, a cat zerker egg, finally! I've wanted one for so long! I don't really even know why, except for the fact that, you know, it's a... It's a cat with a sword. Uh, we will call him... We'll just call him, uh... Yeah, we'll call him Puss. Puss and Boots. There we go. Looks like pus, pronounced like, uh, puss. Yes. And a walnut. Alright, I mean, that's an interesting reward, I suppose. And if we look at our map... Oh, I wonder if the cat Zerker can break through these solid walls that we've been struggling with. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I'm gonna cut away again, and I will see you shortly, like... Okay, so... Let's go ahead and unlock the door, and I guess... Hello. Who are you? Oh, it's just like a straight-up instant boss battle. Okay. Alright, so he is resistant to wind, strong, or... Yeah, resistant to wind, strong against, um... Or, he's <laughs> resistant to wind, weak to, uh, leaf. Right. And he uses water and leaf-based attacks, so... Let's see, do we have anyone who is... Okay, Bob is weak to water. And aside from that... Let's see here. Alright. So... Oh, oh! Dang it! <laughs> That's not what I meant. Oh well, you know, I... I'm in it now. Oh, poor Bob. I meant to... I was gonna swap uh, Bob out for... Either Cat Zerker or or Desmond, Puss or Desmond, whichever one would have uh, felt the most right to me. All right, yeah, let's use Might. Let's see if, like, long term, this ends up resulting in. Ooh, boy. Little, uh, a little bit of a rough thing there, though. Though the poison does seem to do a, a pretty reasonable amount of damage to this guy. So. Yeah, I mean, he resists it, but. We can really, uh, ratchet up the, our combo here. So that hopefully we do a little bit more damage. Yeah. Alright. 
I probably should have got rid of Beagle as well, because Beagle's best attacks are... Yeah. They're not suited for this particular, uh, combat. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really... I did not strategically handle this right. So if and when I inevitably fail... Oh dear. We'll want to go around and, yeah, pick a better... a better party here. I think, I think even though this does less damage initially, overall it might end up allowing us to do more in the long run, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh god, he's got, he's got healing. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Alright, well, at least we can get another slime shot in. Alright, now we can really, really start ratcheting things up just a little bit. All right, so far so good. I mean, we are winning. No one's been downed yet, so I guess that's a plus. Oh, if he keeps healing though, that's gonna, that's gonna cause some problems here. You better heal Beagle up. Don't want anyone going down on us. That's gonna, that's gonna be bad. Gotta keep everyone standing proud and strong. Also, apparently I never upgraded Leap Slash, so, you know, GG me, I guess. Alright. I mean, he's, uh... You can tell, he's on the ropes. We should be able to finish him this turn, I think. Possibly. Maybe. It might happen. A man can dream. Oh yeah, here we go. Finish him! All right, finish that weird wizard genie guy. Oh, nice. We actually did sort of better. All right, not bad. Level up. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Though we totally could have done that better. Totally. Well, that's one champion down. And nothing but loot and victory for the rest of us, I guess. Oh, and yeah, we just uh, circle around from here, I suppose. And, ah, an Orc Arena. Let's see, healing skills increased by 15%. So this is actually useful to give to, uh, Bob. Okay. So I guess the only thing left to do is, um... Yeah. I guess we just need to get some monster that can break through these rocks. Alright, so let's go back and visit Old Baron to wrap things up. So I'll see you when we get there. Ooh, nice! Our first, our first five-star battle, and a Yowie egg, which is the big guy. So we've got an extra egg. Do we need to hatch it? Probably not right now. Anyway, all right. Let's see if Baron's got anything new to say to us. Hey there! Are you rising through the ranks of Keeper Stronghold already? Your monsters—they look hungry. Never forget to feed them. Okay, so you don't have anything new to say right now. Uh, we don't have anything um, from this guy, so I guess that means our next uh, location that we gotta go is to the Keeper's Stronghold. So we'll do that next episode. For now though, that's gonna do it for this video, so until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see all you in the next video.